Welcome back. One of the largest employers in San Diego is now opening its doors to middle school students, giving them a chance to be engineers for the day and the tools to impact their future. It's the daily morning commute and thousands of employees are making their way to Sorrento Valley, where Qualcomm, one of the largest employers in San Diego, is headquartered. But today, it's not only employees making their way to the high-tech giant. Welcome, Bethune Middle Schoolers. Did you sit in a little bit of traffic this morning? Yes. Probably, yes. That's because 16,000 people were getting off at that same exit that you were getting off at. 16,000 people work for Qualcomm in San Diego. Students from Bethune Middle School are spending the day at Qualcomm. First stop, the World of Work room, where they'll learn about the company and explore career options. If you look out these windows, there are 45 buildings where Qualcomm employees are working. And at the heart of this company are engineers. And what do you think, what do you think those engineers are doing? The question we often ask is, how does a child aspire to a career they don't know exists? So when we can make a, a career seem relevant to them, seem interesting, aligned to their interests and their values perhaps, that might get them more excited about school, it might get them more excited about doing well in school, and then hopefully one day we might actually be employing them here at Qualcomm. Who had a brand new career that they hadn't heard of before? Raise your hand. We want to do our part to expose uh, students here in our area to the great careers of science and technology so they can get excited and hopefully be some of those students that we hire in the future. Now it's time to move into the Think a Bit Lab. Welcome to the Think a Bit Lab. Explore, wonder, be curious. A dedicated maker space that's part design studio and part science lab. So first things first, let's go ahead and open up these boxes, yeah? Here, students will get real hands-on experience in engineering by learning about computer programming and working with code to create a robotic art project. We try to get them excited about engineering through giving them diving headfirst into electronics and programming. And so what I like to do is I give them fairly basic um, LED circuits to build and then from there we immediately go into opening an example of Arduino which is a microcontroller. Go ahead and look at your Arduino board, lift it up, let me make sure we all can see that. Lift it up, lift it up high. And then they get to manipulate that code and then from there we actually start programming servos. And then that's the actual thing, the servo, which is a programmable motor. But the full rotation servo can go round and round and round. So you can program its direction, so you can have it go this way too. And you can program the speed at which it goes. I want their first impression of engineering to be wow. I want their first impression to be like, this is amazing. Qualcomm partnered with San Diego Unified School District to develop the curriculum and make it applicable and enjoyable for middle school kids. When it's time to design their project, students work together in teams. How do we make this like move? They have a variety of objects and accessories to choose from. You have 37 minutes. Remain. To combine their coding and creativity. Empowering thing about art is that you can express it in any way that you want. Um, and that allows a child to uh, navigate this challenge in a way that makes sense for them. So I kind of feel like it's the um, pursuit of science passion. It wasn't anything I would expect it to be. In honesty, when they said we're just going to build stuff, I didn't expect it to be like this fun with all the arts and crafts. Like, I didn't expect us to build this, our little creation with our half cat and half dragon. We get to do whatever we want. We express ourselves and who we are. It just gave us the basic instruction to use a servo. And we'll glue the servo on it back up. The Think a Bit Lab experience serves as an extension to learning science in the classroom. My experience here at Qualcomm was pretty awesome because we got to um, make codes and create um, awesome projects. These kids are always creating something different and it's amazing. I mean, it's so cool. I mean, imagine that, like, I get three classes a week and I get to see something different every week. This approach to learning helps students get motivated to learn. Most people think that only boys should do engineering and all that. I think it's really cool that girls can do it too. It was actually really fun, like, even though it was like difficult to create this. After only an hour of working on their masterpieces, it's time to present them to the class. Ladies and gentlemen,
gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you the latest inventors in the United States of America. I, our, this is our stylish prototype. No. Yeah. <laughs> woo! Woo! It's a mixture of Halloween dead people. All right, let her go. Nice. Good job. Do you guys see that movement? When they realize what engineering can enable them to do, their minds just go open. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. And I love that. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. A day in the Think A Bit Lab. Nicely done. A chance for these students to think a bit more about life-changing opportunities. That's amazing. Wow. I'm amazed at what those kids accomplished in just one day. You can find more information about the Think A Bit Lab on our website, forestie.com, on the Salute to Education page. We'll be right back.